The Actuaries Institute acknowledges the traditional custodians of the lands and waters where we live and work, travel and trade. We pay our respect to the members of those communities, elders past and present, and recognise and celebrate their continuing custodianship and culture. Hi, I'm Annette King, and I am honoured and excited to be your president in 2022, which is the 125th year of the Australian Actuaries Institute. Choosing an actuarial career has been the most beneficial decision of my professional life. It's taken me on a 30-year adventure, including 14 years in Asia. I've been responsible for 16 countries in Asia Pacific and connected with people all around the world. It's taken me from the actuarial division where so many of our careers start, zigzagging through lots of different departments in insurance, wealth management and superannuation, all the way to the CEO's office. It's taken me from classical financial services to innovation in fintechs and insurtechs, and now into the boardroom. Actuarial life has given me so much. I've had those opportunities because the people who were before me in this role expanded the idea of what an actuary can be. And I want to do the same. I believe now is the hour of the actuary. In this data-driven world, the Industrial Revolution 4.0, new business models are forming and new social norms are being created. Actuaries can be entrepreneurial and innovative Actuaries who Elon Musk would call revolutionary. And we need to continue to speak up for those who don't have a seat at the table, but whose interests we protect. In this ever-changing world, our skill sets and professional mindsets have never been more valuable. For me, this is about being fearless actuaries. So what does that mean? It means using data for good. The data revolution is changing the way the world works. We play very comfortably in that world of data, artificial intelligence and machine learning, everything digital, because we're good at capturing and analyzing data and using that data to decide what action will move the dial. Whether that is for customer and member outcomes, improving the profitability of organizations, or for social good, the age of data is the age of the actuary. Through my innovation work with fintechs and insurtechs, I know that the actuarial control cycle and the innovation cycle are the same. We both set a purpose for a target audience with target outcomes. We design and then deliver, monitor and review those outcomes, and then use those insights to pivot and improve. Optimize, optimize, optimize. The actuarial control cycle is the innovation cycle. The outcomes are the same, better products and services and better outcomes for customers and society. That's why actuaries have been such innovators and trailblazers, not just in insurance and superannuation, investment and banking, but also in consumer data analytics, risk management, microinsurance and investing online. But it's not just about the data. We are ideally adapted for growth in so many fields of opportunity, whether it's climate, risk management, energy optimization, ESG or public policy. We have the curiosity, the skills, the training and the ethics. What we need more than ever is courage, courage to create and courage to grow. We're surrounded by fearless actuaries who had the courage to create a better way. There are so many to mention, but here are just a few. John Trowbridge, Greg Taylor and Bob Buchanan, who shaped the financial management and education in general insurance. Peter Promnitz, Trevor Matthews and Darren Stevens, who were instrumental in the wealth management and superannuation administration platforms. Michael Rice, Bruce Cook, Kathy Nance, David Knox, Andrew Boll, and many more who have been crucial in the evolution of superannuation that has contributed so much to our nation 
and is one of the best retirement systems in the world. John Walsh and Sarah Johnson, who were key in establishing the NDIS. Tim Andrews on climate change, Queenie Chow in the emerging field of microinsurance, Alan Greenfield and Hugh Miller in the investment approach to social welfare, Iris Lunn, an insurtech entrepreneur in Asia, and Adam Drusi, who has pioneered how data is used in all sorts of businesses, well beyond financial services, both in Australia and overseas. If you're an actuary today, you're surrounded by pioneers and creators who used the actuarial control cycle as the innovation cycle. It's up to us now to be the next generation of innovators. There's another kind of courage that actuaries are known for, balancing the interests of different stakeholders. That includes protecting the interests of the individual, the small and the vulnerable, in the face of those with much greater power. That has always been part of our social purpose. We've seen many examples in the past when actuaries stood up for what's right. We need to have the courage to speak up. Our role as guardians of the public interest has never been more important. And that includes the financial sustainability of so many services that people rely on, whether that's the NDIS, disability or home insurance, superannuation, and so much more. My motto has always been, feel the fear and do it anyway. Our greatest personal growth comes with uncomfortable stretch. We need to grow both personally and together as a profession. Over the next year, I'd like all of us in the profession to think about what it means in our own personal context to have courage, to be a fearless actuary. You may see an opportunity that is worth grabbing or something that could be done better. Or you may see an unmet customer need or something that's not right, someone being mistreated or overlooked. Or you may see a risk that others just don't see. You need to find your voice and be brave. Have your insight heard and actioned. Our new strategy, 2022 to 24, is titled Seizing Opportunities. As part of our core member services and education program, we're rolling out two new subjects, enterprise risk management and general insurance applications. In addition, we will start developing micro-credentials and continue supporting professionalism, ethics and our code of conduct. We are committed to constant insightful thought leadership and public policy across our expertise, from pensions to climate, insurance to government services, demographics to data. The new strategy also includes two new elements, social purpose and significant growth. To help accelerate the growth of the profession, I want to create a new growth forum with both members and outside marketing experts. We will continue to invest in brand actuary and we have a strategic project called True North, which unites our message to market and value proposition. We will also seek new brand opportunities for external recognition of our leading actuaries. We must have the courage to grow. Growth is a strategic priority in our new strategy. That growth has many layers. It's a personal focus of mine to attract not just talented mathematical problem solvers, but people who have great communication skills and opportunity seekers. It's the combination of our analytical skills and communication skills that enable us to be impactful. We need to commit to grow our numbers not just in increments, but multiples. We need a critical mass in this age of data. The waves of opportunity are before us and we must take them at the flood right now. The people we're counting on most to drive our growth are you, our members. Actuaries are trusted and in demand by the people who know us. We need to get our message out more strongly and to more people. We don't need to change who we are, 
You can be courageous and impactful without being loud. But we must unite our message. We simply need you, wherever you work, to be heard, to seize new opportunities confidently, and to talk with pride about being an actuary wherever you are in your career. Talk about using data for good. We need you to bring your fearless best to every engagement and every decision. Now is our time. The age of data is the age of the actuary. Let's have the courage to grow.